Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's Letitia from YoungFinances.com. We all know that travel can be a very exciting part of life, but it's pretty expensive, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to give you some great ways to travel for free by using travel rewards, and we're going to do it today on Young Finances TV. Are you ready to travel for free? Getting travel rewards is not as difficult as it seems. It involves three steps, having excellent credit, using the card, and finding the best travel deals. Here are your three steps to use travel reward credit cards to travel for free. Step one, have excellent credit. This strategy is not for people who are rebuilding their credit or people with poor credit. This strategy is for people with excellent credit. Most travel reward credit cards will require you to have a credit score of at least 685, and some of them won't approve you unless you have a credit score anywhere between 700 and 800. If you don't know what your credit score is, you should use a service like Credit Sesame, Credit Karma, or MyFICO.com in order to check your credit score. Now that you know your credit score and you're sure that you have excellent credit, you're ready for step two. Step two is using the card. So for this, you're going to need to know your monthly budget. You're going to need to know how much you spend so that you can hit some of those minimum spend limits. So most of the time, the credit card will require you to spend anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000, maybe $10,000 within a limited period of time, within the first three or six months when you have the card. Once you hit those minimum spending limits, then you'll get a bonus of reward points, and you can use those points to book flights, book hotels, and start booking your travel. Maybe Hawaii. Aloha, aloha, oi. So that's step two. Step three is going to be to find the best travel deals. Even though you have excellent credit, you still don't want to ding your credit by applying for too many credit cards. If you don't want a credit card churn, which is opening a card, closing a card, opening the next card just to find the best rewards, then you want to find a card that's perfect for you. Find something that has a really good sign up bonus and something that also gives you perks throughout the year. You may have to pay an annual fee in order to hang on to this card, but if the card offers you a rewards bonus that covers $400 worth of travel costs, for example, and the annual fee is only $99, then you still come out about $300 ahead. So make sure to keep that in mind. There are three basic types of cards when you're looking for the best travel reward card deals. You can use an organization specific card like in USAA or AARP. These are cards that are specific to those organizations and they want those members to use the cards. You can use an airline specific card like a Delta card or an American Airlines card. These cards obviously want you to use that airline so they're going to give you specific bonus points for using that airline. But what if you don't have loyalty to an airline? Well, you can use a general card, which will allow you to accumulate points and use it towards travel towards uh, any airline or any type of hotel. And these are the type of cards that kind of give you the opportunity to be flexible so that you can fly to Europe one day or you can fly to Costa Rica the next. Not sure where to find the best travel reward deals? Well, I've got a suggestion for you. Head over to youngfinances.com. I've got some great information on how you can use travel reward credit cards. And I even mentioned the best credit card for young adults. It's one that's going to give you cash back every time you charge. In the meantime, if you like this video, please be sure to like it, rate, comment, subscribe. I mean, tell me what you think. Do you use credit cards? Are you afraid of credit cards? Do you think this is a good strategy? or maybe you don't like to travel at all. Regardless, I'd love to hear it and chat with you, so make sure you leave a comment below. In the meantime, it's time for me to go on my next vacation. Is it Costa Rica? 